Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we have another diagnostic video. As you see, I'm already with the hands on the work. Um, this is a 2006 BMW 330 with a N52 engine. So it's a regular injector, it's no GDI system. Customer complaint is it's a, it's a misfire on cylinder two on idle. Um, let me read the description, make sure I have no info of the customer in here because they had done a lot of a lot of stuff on this car trying to you know find out the the problem so let me share some of the stuff that they have done so they swap coils swap injectors they check the fuel pressure leak down test compression uh swap the master flow from a, a donor a good car Bobtronic and relearn Swap the band of solenoids, intake and exhaust, check bank, exhaust, back pressure, which is, as he said, perfect. And uh, I don't know what the CCV, I guess it's a, it's a vacuum. I have to like look into that and they smoke the intake and crankcase. So they have pretty much done everything, but they cannot figure out what the issue is with this uh, misfire. So I have now Picoscope connected. I have only on three coils, so one, two, and three. Uh, let me tell you color-wise which one is which, uh, which one is which. So blue channel is cylinder one, green is cylinder two, and obviously red is cylinder three. As far as now, the car is already warm. Uh, I don't have any maze fire. Uh, I just noticed uh, something on the coils that he's using. Those are the Bosch uh, coils. And there is a technical service bulletin from BMW that recommends to replace, uh, to replace those co coils with Delphi. I have one coil, uh, Delphi, and I went ahead and, uh, and replace it. So I should have probably not done that. As you can see, cylinder two, which is a problematic, it has a, a gray booth. And the other one is sort of kind of like uh, brown or, or dark, you know, I don't know, like black. The other thing that I found, uh, found out in here, it was the connector wasn't seat all the way in, which is very common on these coils. Very hard to note uh, when the connector is all the way in. But I cannot say that that's the issue because they have done a lot. So I'm going to let it run and keep the recordings. I don't see anything wrong. Car is running a smooth. Right now I got the capture so we can see um, the three cylinders on one screen. As you can see sometimes it runs a little lean, nothing abnormal. I'm gonna do a snap throttle so you guys can see that too, which the complaint is not in acceleration, it's, it's actually in idle. That's what, as much as he told me, but I'm going to do it, so. I don't feel. Go a little high in there, but I need to. Let me stop this capture. Hopefully, the memory, yeah, the memory is still there. All right, so we can go back. We're gonna definitely get more of those uh, ignition events on one screen. See, you know, when I put it under load, uh, you know, heavy acceleration, you can see there is one on a little lean, but it's under acceleration and that's not his complaint. It's a little noisy, which is okay. It's not so bad. Remember, we are definitely doing a uh, a, a very heavy snap throttle, so you will see that. And uh, as far as lean, I mean, when you get worried about a lean condition on a cylinder, you will see this spike, you know, going very high. This is normal, and maybe even when the engine is cutting off the fuel, which is okay. But as soon as, you know, as, as long as the three ignition events that I picked up for compar uh, comparison, they all look the same. I don't see any problems on acceleration. 
So let's keep going on uh, an idle. Actual waveform from cylinder two, which is a green one, looks pretty pretty nice. Can reduce the time if we want to see the way this is like this is because I got a attenuator on it, but you know that's not so bad. But as you can see, it's pretty good. I don't see any primary or you know secondary issues. Sometimes. It gives this short, like, like when you have a problem with exhaust valve not sealing, but I don't see that happening on, on the snap throttle. See, when you see this uh, uh, ignition event getting short and a little noisy, sometimes that means uh, that we have a problem on the, on the exhaust valve. See, like right there, let me go back. That one. You see right there? That is a little bit of an issue for me. He said that he swapped the solenoids for intake and exhaust. So let's say the cam timing is okay, which will also not affect just a single cyl uh, cylinder, but an exhaust valve will. Let's take a look of another cylinder on this same time um, let's see if I can look for one I guess on this is speed no that cannot be possible uh, hold on a second guys let me get the screen right Am I recording? Yes. All right. So what is happening is because of the time base, I am getting one cylinder on the screen. So what I need to do, let's zoom back in here. Well, we can see those events, as I said. Let's trigger on channel A just to see another cylinder. Uh, and let's zoom into it. The most important area for me is here. So we do get a little bit of that in cylinder one as well. See what I mean? A short event like that one actually. It can also be a dripping injector. It's a little soon to call that. And the card is running perfect. All right, so let's see channel B. And we got to raise it up. I'm just, you know, doing a comparison on one cylinder to the other. And that's the way you analyze information. Complain as far as ECU or checking your light is on cylinder two only. And I know with this microphone, you will not be able to hear it, but this engine is running super smooth. All right, so let's uh, expand the time a little more. So we get to see more events in here. And raise this up. Let's try to allocate uh, more of the ignition events in the screen. So 50 milliseconds is kind of what I need. And I am on B, which is my red channel. Where is my trigger? I, was, I wanted to get the trigger out right here to get this a little more center. Just trying to get all the bands on the screen. I guess right there. All right, let me keep the, uh, keep the car running. Well, let me show you the scanner. For this, I'm using the Drive Pro. 
Let's see if I erase the code and yeah, the code came back. It came back. I'm wondering if we do have an issue of a misfire or an update that might be necessary. Maybe. See the RPMs, misfire. So far the computer goes, it's reading a misfire constantly on that cylinder. And I can I can't feel anything. I can feel anything and again our channel or cylinder two is is a green channel, so let's use that as a trigger. I want to focus into that. I'm going down on the blue channel. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's a very healthy primary uh, waveform. And the problem is completely in idle. I don't think uh, that is actually a misfire. And I erase the code before I run the car. The car is running really smooth. If you have a misfire, I don't care where it's coming from. You will see it here. All right, guys, I took the WPS 500 and I set a bump in the exhaust to see what we have here. So let me take um, some of the channels out. I only need channel C, so we can take A and B out for now. Just to analyze what I just caught. So again, the green channel is our cylinder two and as you can see in the exhaust pulses, we have sometimes a very deep exhaust issue. So it looks like we do have uh, exhaust valve issue. So let me run the, the test so you guys can see it live. So this is now live. And the weird thing, well, not the weird thing because that's the way valves react depends on load and spinning because the valve usually spins, you will get those pulses. So remember from cylinder to cylinder, I mean, from event to event, we will have pretty much a 720. It's a little hard to put the time in on the event let me try to stop it when we have that that was a big one at the end it's still there i wanted to see right there all right so i'm gonna take this slide off so you can see that i mean this is this is a definitely an exhaust valve that is not sealing how much more we got or we want to go there uh i'm not sure because this is very noticeable. So we have a problem in here. And just to tell you my setup, I have, again, attenuators in all the first three channels on the primary coil of the, of the coils. Um, you will difference the wire. It has a different color. As you see right there, it's the first wire on each one of the coils. That's my primary setup. Then I have the WPS 500 on range three. So if you see, that's the setup, range three, and uh, I set it up into plus, min, uh, plus or minus one PSI, and I also use the zoom on the WPS 500 itself. You can zoom the same way you select the ranges, you can zoom and it's a maximum zoom to see this more uh, clearly, but definitely we have a, an issue here. So this is all I can do here because I am not going to pay in a whole day of diagnosis on this car. 
this is more to help them out but yeah he's going to have to do something with the uh, exhaust valves 